Fit like a bee, Danny Min here, and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2 Around the World in Time. It's been it's been a minute. It's been a hot minute since we released one of these episodes. Uh, the last episode we, that we did for this was sort of planning out the Liverpool and Manchester Railway, which is sort of what I've been kind of building here. Now, we've only done half the line. Uh, the date of recording this is, well, what day is it? It is the, it's the 28th of November. So, a few things have happened. So, as we start here, here is, here is Manchester, right? I actually built out all of this. I built it out with, like, town and city, kind of like what's done over here. Uh, I had to, like, sort of stop myself because eventually... Uh, like this station here, which is Liverpool Street Station, this station will end up closing. We'll then be on uh, Manchester, Victoria, and Piccadilly, which are in different places. And the entirety of Manchester, Greater Manchester, expands a vast distance. Even places like Eccles up here, eventually, current day status is part of Greater Manchester. And it really does expand and engulf all these smaller towns. There would have been individual entities back in the 1800s. So I built out all that. I then started getting this weird crash. Now, obviously, when using a lot of mods, the first thing to do is check your mods, but it wasn't a mod that was crashing the game. And every time I went into loading this map, it was it was bad. It was, it was super bad. It, it just kept on crashing after a few minutes. And it didn't matter which map, uh, which save game I loaded, that was still happening. So that was kind of a bummer. <laughs> uh, the other save games for the other maps that I've got are still working just fine. So I had to rebuild this again and I stopped way short of what I did uh, previously before the game crapped its pants. Now, as I've said, the current date is the 28th of November, but I'm hoping to get the entire line finished. Uh, between now and sort of New Year, so I'm going to sort of release these on like Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, uh, Boxing Day, maybe one on New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, etc. And the plan is to finish a current some of the current series I'm doing before uh, New Year, so we can continue on more with Transport Fever, because doing the high detailing, especially in large sections, like this uh, it takes a long time unfortunately i'm getting better at it i'm not the best uh water is something that pains me greatly the way water works in transport fever 2 is unforgivable it means your maps have to be super low down and close to sea level or you end up with these really high walls and if you take it down too further uh, too far when you go to build tunnels uh, it won't do it because it's like trying to factor in that there's water at sea level. So it's kind of annoying. Uh, I'm trying to figure out ways around it. I will get better the more episodes I do this, so that'll be fine. But yeah, yeah, the crash was a nightmare. A mix of also doing uh, some odd jobs. I was doing some work uh, for my brother-in-law, etc. So yeah, there was... A lot of stuff going on and I just didn't have the time to do this. But as I said, we're going to be wrapping up the other series that's on the channel. Uh, Surviving Mars, City State 2, the Jurassic Park game released. And I'd love to get that on the go because I really enjoyed the first one. And the second one is apparently so much better. We've all seen the trailers and stuff. So yeah, this section that I've done so far goes from Manchester out to uh, Newton Lee willows out there as you can see in the distance now i'll explain a bit of what is going on so didn't build up too much of the manchester skyline i'm also having difficulty finding buildings modded buildings from the sort of 1800s that sort of architecture and period there are a few buildings out there that sort of match that there's the europe pack there's the also the standard buildings i guess would pass the medieval pack that's where this church is from uh, there's also the France, uh, the Paris buildings as well. Because the sort of architecture of old sort of looks like this. The greys, the brown brick, the, you know, the, the light greys, the dark greys. 
And it's all sort of brick and stone, because <clears throat> that was basically the materials that were favoured or cheapest to use at the time. So here is Manchester, Liverpool Street Station. We've got a little rocket there. We've got a few trains in the background. Obviously this, I think I'm done with this bit. I'm not going to continuously build up more until we get later on in the sort of time period. Once we reach like the 1950s and stuff, where train lines that were made then still exist today, I'll have a better idea of where the train lines need to be and where I can sort of build around. We'll also be able to use some of the new, sort of newer architecture buildings. There are a lot of modded buildings in Steam Workshop that favour sort of new age architecture and it'll be a lot easier to place them. We also have pictures nowadays. You can go onto the internet, go onto Google Maps and you can actually see street level what Manchester, Liverpool, Edinburgh, Glasgow, uh, London actually looks like and you'll be able to sort of figure out and sort of pick buildings that are close to that but there's very little there's obviously no photographs from the 1800s early 1800s uh, to go off of there are paintings sketchings drawings that sort of have like a sort of rough idea of what stuff should look like but it is very difficult to find uh, reference work so none of the cities I'm going to build are going to be one-to-one -one replicas of the actual cities. That would be totally insane and it would take an extreme amount of time. But I've managed to do a bit. We've got like these Victorian terraced houses and stuff. They are very cool. Uh, as we head over this way, this is Cross Lane Station, which is part of Salford. Uh, and Salford Central should be down here. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah, so I've built up parts of Salford here. This is actually a place town and I want this to grow out organically. We are going to have to build across the rivers at each side and uh, this is the river Mersey, right? Is that right? Don't know. But we've got like an industrial area down by the river because that's how goods were mostly moved at the time. Uh, I've still to flesh this out with some assets, uh, horse and wagons, some dock workers, etc, etc. I've still got quite a few things to do. I love this, the, the gas, the gasometers from uh, CW315. They are very cool. They maybe weren't on the go at this time, but I, I wanted it in because it just adds something to the skyline that makes it look really interesting. So yeah, we've got some farms out here, but as I said, Manchester itself will grow out. I think it goes out to about as far as Eccles and then it sort of dies away. But over here, we've got the freight line that comes in. We've got the main line that comes over here. We get to our first little village, which is Waste. Now, these are all hand-placed. This is not a ploppable town uh, from this option right here. Uh, this is all sort of hand-placed, because eventually we'll just sort of build out buildings and this will all be accompanied in. We've got some industries as well that will work at the start of the game, but then obviously as time goes on, We'll start to remove them because obviously there are no trees uh, where there are large urban and suburban sprawls. So yeah, heading out, a lot of farms in the UK countryside. Eccles again is a placed town. I want that to grow organically. I will be changing up. I've found a mod that changes up these roads so that the AI can't place the stuff there. And I'll maybe get some of my own sort of buildings uh, closer to the stations. So that's going to be kind of cool. Uh, yeah, I'll actually go back to here. So like going through Manchester, we've got this elevated section and I'll, even back in the day, a lot of the, there was a lot of bridges and viaducts that were built. As I said, placing water and rivers is a real nightmare in this game. So everything is super high unless you build them up yourself and make everything really low down below sea level. But then it just makes maps look super flat. There's no height or verticality. And this is something I'm hoping to add in time. You can paint water. I am going to do some rivers and hopefully make them look realistic and cool, etc. But moving on. Uh, yeah, so we've got the junction here. This is where the freight line comes on to the main line. Uh, just before Eccles. We've got these windmills as well. They're pretty cool. And they animate. 
So these were actually taken. Ooh, push that play button and the lag shall begin. There we go. Sort back up to 64 frames. Yeah, so these were actually ones that I ported over from Transport Fever 1 because I couldn't find any windmills in the workshop. And these might not be sort of UK type windmills that we might have used, but they're pretty cool and they add just something to the scenery. We've got lots of farms and stuff. I am hoping that Eccles builds out this way. Uh, also as well, speaking of industries, oh yeah, so hold on, we've got Eccles Station and we've got Pettycroft Station. Now, at Pettycroft, there was the the railway past the, the Bridgewater Foundry at Pettycroft. So what we're going to do, in real life, the foundry should be about here, close to the river, the train should go past it, and there should be other train lines that can go in. Uh, there was also the, it was right on the river. So what I've done is, I've added a line here, and when the time comes, when I'm ready, I'll build out a foundry, uh, an industry with a dockyard, we'll have the trains go in, we'll get some more boats and stuff. I'm going to have to expand the river out, it's a bit thin at the moment, but that's because I had to literally place this. We're going to have to level this all out, etc. So yeah, the, we'll still have trains and dropping off coal, iron ore, etc. over here. And then I'll, I'll take the line back around that way and it can join the main line over there. So I've still to build that. That is something that I've still to build because I literally forgot about it. <laughs> that is actually what happened. So the train continues on through the farmland. We get to the next station, which is Barton Moss Station. So it's just a little village there. Again, all these are hand placed. Uh, a lot of the trains did just stop at these tiny little outpost stations where there were actually no buildings, but it meant that uh, farm goods, wool, crops, etc. could be loaded there. The old railway line uh, where I, in the town where I used to live, just outside of the town, there are three or four stations that are just basically out in the middle of nowhere, and people have renovated them and converted them into houses and cottages, but th those stations were ma mainly to suit... Uh, farming and livestock that's where the train would stop and pick stuff up on its merry way to Aberdeen or wherever it was going so yeah they're just little small villages I have made as we continue on and at this station and this is Astley station but after here is Flow Moss now back in the day uh, well there was the chat moss which is round about this area and it was really just this marshy sort of wasteland it was like a sort of boggy sort of mess so <laughs> that nobody really wanted to build it on so again we've got the station out here this is an actual station and we've just got some buildings this is the paint water tool i was speaking about it actually looks okay from a distance if you don't look at it super close it looks pretty good. This is where the main line is going to head down to the uh, the foundry. And we'll build some more farms in here. Again, these are original towns that were placed by the, the map creator. And we'll sort of work around them. Not every single town is going to be hand placed. Maybe the bigger ones like Manchester and Liverpool, London, etc. Because there are a lot of really unique buildings and monuments there that we want to get in. And I don't want the AI to sort of build over those sort of landmarks and things that we've placed. So that is why we're keeping in some of these. And in all honesty, when the towns grew out in Transport Fever, apart from some hideous decisions that the AI makes and placing buildings and stuff, the, the cities don't look half bad. They look pretty decent. So, heading out. So, this is Burry Lane. Now, Burry Lane is just a really small town with a large farm. And this one here is cargo. And this one here is passenger. And this line here is just a through line. So, the only stop at one, one little station. As you see, I've just got a little hut here. There's no station building. Uh, the stairs don't actually match the thing. But I think I can fix that. I can add something in for that. We've got also like water towers and signal boxes. These probably would not have come in or later. 
Uh, but I think they look nice. They're nice to add to the thing, uh, to the railway. Uh, so yeah, this, this is an actual farm, so it can do grain. So uh, we will get trucks, uh, intercity buses or coaches, etc. There will be a lot more trains on the line. Some doing freight, some doing passengers, some going on the Bolton and Lee railways, etc, etc. Which is actually, we're actually coming up to there pretty soon. So the Bolton and Lee Railway was actually made before uh, the, uh, the Liverpool Manchester Railway. So we're going to build that out, take it down past Lee, Atherton, into Bolton. Because that is where it went. So that would be nice to sort of add that as well. I might just add some farms around the back here. Leave Lee possibly as just an organic... Well, maybe leave these sort of organic and then when the time comes to put in the new infrastructure for the new railways and stuff we can just sort of demolish stuff as we go along but yeah so we're heading over that way anyway so here is this is the uh what's it called is it the kenyan kenyan junction let's have a look yeah the the kenyan cutting and then the kenyan junction and that is where the the Wigan branch oh no that's where the the Kenyon and Lee Junction okay so this is the Kenyon and Lee Junction and then obviously the Boltland and Lee railway heads out this way and then it did join on uh, this way and I think it went down to Liverpool and that's I don't think it went to Manchester there's nothing on Wikipedia that says it did but there are there is actually a a proper schedule for the Bolton and Lee Railway that goes from Bolton to Liverpool. It actually tells you what time the trains left and which days and how much it cost. So that's interesting. We then get over to Newton Lee Willows and we've got Parkside Station here. I am hoping that this is going to grow out. Uh, it is starting to grow out. See, that's bad. Now, this is bad for reasons because this road here is actually these so these actually stop buildings and other roads from building onto them the AI has obviously not got that message and that is one of the problems with placing organic or AI built cities is when you place assets in them they will build over them and it'll look stupid so I am hoping that it grows out this way, but I don't want it to grow over here. I think there is invisible paths and barriers to place so that buildings can't build on it. It's going to take me a super long time to do that. It's something I'm really not looking forward because it's super tedious and boring. But yeah, there is Parkside Station and there is Newton Lee Willows or Newton Bridge Station. Now, obviously, this line continues down. It goes to Warrington, and I think it does. I think it's like a Warrington to Wigan line, but I'll have to look it up. There's another line that comes off of St. Helens and goes somewhere else. But basically, Newton Lee Willows and Earlstown here will all become one, because that's what it's like today, apparently, on the old map. If we go to. I'll have a look at the map, right? And we'll go along here. We'll find Newton Lee Willows. So yeah, Newton Lee Willows and Earlstown will basically become one large entity, which is totally fine. I would like them to build up and join up with each other organically. I just need to find ways to block them from, I want Earlstown to grow out this way and I want Newton Lee Willows to grow out that way. So yeah, that is as far as we've got now. By the time it comes to Christmas Eve, because this is when I'm hoping to put this out. So I hope you guys are all prepared and excited for Christmas. Uh, Christmas doesn't really bother me. It's another day. <laughs> so I am the original Scrooge. And yeah, by the time I, this gets uploaded, I'll probably have done all of this. I think I'm going to do the foundry next to get that up and running. So once that's up and running, I think I'm going to do the Bolton and Lee uh, Railway, and that might be a sort of episode on its own. And then I'll continue on down this way and start to work towards Liverpool. 
Now, as you can see, there's a lot of hills here. Liverpool Station actually goes in and then it tunnels down to a dockyard. And I have no idea how I'm going to do that because, yeah, water, water physics and transport fever are weird. But again, I'm not going to build out too much of Liverpool, Dingle, Garston. I think all the way out to like sort of Robbie. Where's Robbie? So there's like, there's Robbie Station, like all the way out to here becomes part of like Merseyside and Liverpool. So all these towns here will become engulfed and all the ones over this side. So it's interesting, we'll see how it plays out. So I just wanted to show you guys everything that I've done. Now what we'll do is in the next episode we'll actually jump on a rocket. And then we will, that's the Rocket 2, the Rocket 1 is on its way. And we'll sort of watch it going like around the map and stuff. And then we'll do an episode where we jump on board. And yeah, well, I will continue to build this out. So hopefully after, I'm not sure if it's going to be at New Year or after New Year. Uh, I definitely want to get something up on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day and Boxing Day. And I definitely want something for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Just something a bit different from the regular schedule. Once I've built all this out, we'll be able to move on to our next railway. I think it's in Belgium. I think. I think it's the one that goes from it's Antwerp to somewhere. And it was like the second... Well, it's a well-documented... It's not the second ever railway, because there were tons of them by this point, but... Yeah, it was, it'll be nice to move away from the UK. We'll get that line built up and then basically what we are going with is if we go to a depot. So these train trains were actually launched from here. I'll have to build out this Warrington to, I think it's Warrington to Wigan line as well. That is going to be something that we're going to have to do. Uh, but yeah, let's go to buy vehicle. So yeah, we're basically going through the LNMR rocket is obviously going to be on this line. Sands Peril will be on the Bolton and Lee line. The Northumbrian will be on this line. And then we'll be into stuff like, uh, let's have a look at this, 1838, the Lion. So we'll be adding the Lion. We will be adding the Tickfield Thunderbolt. It also has its own wagons. Uh, for the Pudern Railway, it is only surviving. Pernham Castle Rail. Ah, so this I think is in Wales, is it? But we'll get it. We'll get it up and running. Uh, Ooh, so this is 1850. Yeah, so we're basically working through these. Yes, now I need. So there are. There's a Stevenson collection. Ah, I need the 1830s collection. That's what I need. I need to add that on to this. Or I need to go and look at it and see what trains are in it. So, yeah. So, we'll just be doing that. And if there's a train available, we will create a railway for it. And we're going to go all around the world and do that. Hopefully, that is the plan. So, that's going to be it for this episode. It was just a brief look. We'll obviously be able to look at stuff in closer detail when we do the ride along on the train. That's going to be the episode for tomorrow. Hope you guys are having a lovely Christmas Eve and that you're all prepared. Uh, I most certainly am not because I love to leave things till the last minute. And this is in November. I should start to get stuff now, but I won't. I'll, I'll leave it till like the 23rd or 24th in December and then go on a mad dash. I just normally give everyone money because then... Yes, there's very little thought process in that, but yes, it means you can go and get whatever you want or need, and I think people sometimes appreciate that a bit more. So, hope you are having a great holiday. It seems weird saying this because it's not actually Christmas Eve, but this is when the video is going out. And yeah, I hope you like what I've done so far. There will be more. I am going to record the next episode of the Jumping on the Train right after this one and then we'll do a drive along as well that'll be kind of cool and then i will continue to build out the map so yeah hopefully start of the year hopefully for new year i don't know 
of maybe I've been able to build out to Liverpool, but we'll just have to sort of wait and see. But that's going to be it for this episode. So as always, if you did watch this and you would like to leave a like, comment, or dislike, where the hell is the train? Bro, there's no way you've gotten down here that fast. Where are you? I was just looking at you. Where did you go? It's a rocket too, right? Oh wow, you did get down here pretty fast. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> As it's going past sort of the chat moss area. Before I go, I must say that the chat moss area was like, there wasn't any trees. It was just like sort of marsh and mud. Uh, there were some farm fields on it and stuff. That's going by the pictures that are on Wikipedia. Uh, but I didn't want it to just be this barren wasteland in it. I've actually got a severe lack of trees on the map, so I just added the trees, but then added in the water here, so it looks a bit more waterlogged and marshy. But yeah, that's going to be it. As always, I've been Danny Min. If you did watch this and you'd like to leave a like, comment, or dislike, please feel free to do so. And if there's more you would like to see in the future, then hit that subscribe button. I've been Danny Min. This has been Transport Fever 2 Around the World in Time, and I will catch you later.